we shall sodomize your sons, emblems of your feeble masculinity, of your shallow dreams and vulgar lies. We shall seduce them in your schools, in your dormitories, in your gymnasiums, in your locker rooms, in your sports arenas, in your seminaries, in your youth groups, in your movie theater bathrooms, in your army bunkhouses, in your truck stops, in your all-male clubs, in your houses of Congress, wherever men are with men together. Your sons shall become our minions and do our bidding. They will be recast in our image. They will come to crave and adore us. Women, you cry for freedom. You say you are no longer satisfied with men. They make you unhappy. We, connoisseurs of the masculine face, the masculine physique, shall take your men from you then. We will amuse them. We will instruct them. We will embrace them when they weep. Women, you say you wish to live with each other instead of with men. Then go and be with each other. We shall give your men pleasures they have never known because we are foremost men too, and only one man knows how to truly please another man. Only one man can understand the depth and feeling, the mind and body of another man. All laws banning homosexual activity will be revoked. Instead, legislation shall be passed which engenders love between men. All homosexuals must stand together as brothers. We must be united artistically, philosophically, socially, politically and financially. We will triumph only when we present a common face to the vicious heterosexual enemy. If you dare to cry faggot, fairy, queer, at us, we will stab you in your cowardly hearts and defile your dead, puny bodies. We shall write poems of the love between men. We shall stage plays in which man openly caresses man. We shall make films about the love between heroic men which will replace the cheap, superficial, sentimental, insipid, juvenile, heterosexual infatuations presently dominating your cinema screens. We shall sculpt statues of beautiful young men, of bold athletes which will be placed in your parks, your squares, your plazas. The museums of the world will be filled only with paintings of graceful, naked lads. Our writers and artists will make love between men fashionable and de rigueur, and we will succeed because we are adept at setting styles. We will eliminate heterosexual liaison through usage of the devices of wit and ridicule, devices which we are skilled in employing. We will unmask the powerful homosexuals who masquerade as heterosexuals. You will be shocked and frightened when you find that your presidents and their sons, your industrialists, your senators, your mayors, your generals, your athletes, your film stars, your television personalities, your civic leaders, your priests are not the safe, familiar, bourgeois, heterosexual figures you assumed them to be. We are everywhere. We have infiltrated your ranks. Be careful when you speak of homosexuals, because we are always among you. We may be sitting across the desk from you. We may be sleeping in the same bed with you. There will be no compromises. We are not middle class weaklings. Highly intelligent, we are the natural aristocrats of the human race, and steely minded aristocrats never settle for less. Those who oppose us will be exiled. We shall raise vast private armies, as Mishima did, to defeat you. We shall conquer the world because warriors inspired by and banded together by homosexual love and honor are invincible as were the ancient Greek soldiers. The family unit spawning ground of lies, betrayals, mediocrity, hypocrisy and violence will be abolished. The family unit which only dampens imagination and curbs free will, must be eliminated. Perfect boys will be conceived and grown in the genetic laboratory. They will be bonded together in communal setting, under the control and instruction of homosexual savants. All churches who condemn us will be closed. Our only gods are handsome young men. We adhere to a cult of beauty, 
immoral and aesthetic. All that is ugly and vulgar and granola will be annihilated. Since we are alienated from middle-class heterosexual conventions, we are free to live our lives according to the dictates of the pure imagination. For us too much is not enough. The exquisite society to emerge will be governed by an elite comprised of gay poets. One of the major requirements for a position of power in the new society of homoeroticism will be indulgence in the Greek passion. Any man contaminated with heterosexual lust will be automatically barred from a position of influence. All males who insist on remaining stupidly heterosexual will be tried in homosexual courts of justice and will become invisible men. We shall rewrite history, history filled and debased with your heterosexual lies and distortions. We shall portray the homosexuality of the great leaders and thinkers who have shaped the world. We will demonstrate that homosexuality and intelligence and imagination are inextricably linked, and that homosexuality is a requirement for true nobility, true beauty in a man. We shall be victorious because we are fueled with the ferocious bitterness of the oppressed who have been forced to play seemingly big parts in your dumb, heterosexual shows throughout the ages. We too are capable of firing guns and manning the barricades of the ultimate revolution. Tremble, hetero swine, when we appear before you without our masks. The U.S. Supreme Court declared Friday that same-sex couples have a right to marry anywhere in the country after two decades of litigation over marriage and gay rights generally. Justice Anthony Kennedy, joined by the court's four more liberal justices, wrote, No union is more profound than marriage. Same-sex couples say, of course we understand the nobility and the sacredness of marriage. We know we can't procreate, but we want the other attributes of it in order to show that we too have a dignity that can be fulfilled. Gay and lesbian couples already could marry in 36 states and the District of Columbia. The court's 5-4 to four ruling means the remaining 14 states in the South and Midwest will have to stop enforcing their bans on same-sex marriage. father, and I didn't want him to be late. Dark and a soy mocha no whip. See, that doesn't even sound right. You say something? Thank <laughs> you. 
Aggressive ass. You said you were sorry. No, I'm just letting it go. Hey! Hey. See, you're already feeling charitable too, huh? <laughs> yeah, you know, Alpha Alpha Beta is all about uh, community service. Yeah. Oh, sorry, this is my girl, Dan. <sighs> and, uh, this is my girl, Cree. Hi. See y'all around, okay? Maybe he's just... I know what he is. I was just hoping that he wasn't. Liam. I gotta go. Liam. What? About Creed. Come on, you know how that is, right? I'm not like you, man. All out with mine, I can't have everybody up in my business. I promised myself I would never go back into that closet for nobody. It sucks because I really like you. I gotta go. Leon. You Get up, we got work to do. How are you good in my house? I got a key. The Empire is yours tomorrow. Eric Fanning, seen here in file footage, is currently the acting U.S. Army Undersecretary. His nomination by President Barack Obama for the job as Secretary of the Army opens the way for the first openly gay leader of a military service branch in U.S. history. His nomination is yet to be confirmed by the Senate. Obama has said in a statement Fanning brings years of proven experience and exceptional leadership to the role. He's previously worked as Air Force Undersecretary and Chief of Staff to U.S. Defense Secretary Ash Carter. Advocacy groups are hailing Fanning's nomination as a significant sign of progress towards protecting the rights of gay, lesbian, bisexual and transgender soldiers. The US military updated its equality policies earlier this year to bar discrimination based on sexual orientation. Cincinnati alone, like, no disrespect to Cincinnati, often it's final in the crowd because he called me gay. I ain't with none of that gay shit, bro. Just because I was tight pan, I mean, I'm gay, bro. I will fuck your hoe, then beat your ass, and see a video of me fucking your hoe, bro. Don't try me like that, bro. Nah, for real, bro. I see every comment that come to me, bro. That shit be funny to me. But I'm on here with you, and I'm giving, you, I'm, I'm giving it to you how it is, bro. These niggas know I ain't gay. These niggas know I'm fucking these hoe. These niggas know what, bro. I ain't not trying, bro, but I ain't not trying, bro, my address, bro. Because they put me in my old spot. I hear some of you guys still think the Weight Watchers is just for women. 